Hey, there's some old baseball cards on a coffee table, plus two packs. Well, I must be watching Junk Wax Genius, you're saying to yourself. Yes, you are. Thank you, astute viewer. Junk Wax Genius is the channel name. The, uh, the name says wax, but some of these are not wax paper, just because that's how packaging changed in the uh, early 90s. It's the channel on YouTube where we open two packs of old baseball cards, generally in the range of 1987 to 1994, give or take a few years, depending on what I can afford, what I can find. And we uh, open the baseball cards and we think about what it was like back in the day to have been the, the collector going after these things. Today we've got 1991 Stadium Club Series 2 and 1994 Leaf Series 2. Uh, both very premium sets, uh, hopefully both um, not bricked to hell, hashtag bricked to hell. We're going to find out. These glossy cards just had a way of, of sticking to themselves. Because I can't imagine Topps or Don Russ or Upper Deck or anybody really thought that 30 years later, a collector would still be opening these cards. All right, we've got our 1991 Stadium Club Series 2, one of the most beautiful card designs uh, ever, in my opinion. We've got Glenn Davis. Sticking a little bit, not terrible. Here's a little pop as he releases from Tommy Gregg. We have Danny Jackson. Nice follow through there for Danny Jackson, but a terrible fielding position. There's Robin Yount, hashtag Royo. Nice hit there. Brian Downing. Okay. We talk about the nice horizontal layouts on the channel every now and then. This is John Russell, a great example of that. John Russell in a cloud of dust. Mike Felder. Thomas Howard. Bruce Hurst, where they really took it easy on the Padres here with the with the framing and the, the poses. Three consecutive, really boring Padres cards. Bruce Hurst, Thomas Howard, and Rich Rodriguez. Another lazy Bowman picture looking thing. The fake follow through from Norm Charlton. And another awesome card, Ken Caminiti. The, the, if, if you weren't quite sure, it says on the back that he plays for the Houston Astros. Now you've cracked the code with Junk Wax Genius. Nice card there for Ken. Gorgeous. I love that. We'll take a look at the backs as well. Something we like to call Cardception, where the card, the featured Topps rookie card on the back is the Stadium Club card we're holding. Not the case for Caminiti. Let's see if we've got any examples here in our 91 Series 2. Not this time. Not this time. All right. Come back tomorrow or the next time we open uh, Stadium Club, maybe we'll find it. On to the Leaf set, 1994. Only 12 cards in the pack, but some, some good uh, parallels, chase cards, inserts in here. And around this time, they realized you didn't have to have a 900-card set like you have for 1992 Stadium Club. You could focus on just the, the better players, and nobody would be that mad. So we've got Mark Portugal. They're going every which way here. Kevin Stocker, Chuck Finley, Paul Sorrento, Bip Roberts, Hot Dog, Bob Hamlin, there's Charles Nagy, Manny Lee, Interesting angle there where the baseball is relative to his hand. Almost looks like it's above his elbow. I hope that's not the case. There's Greg Swindell again. We've had some Greg Swindell runs here the last couple of days. Daryl Hamilton, Brian Harper, and we end the pack with Manny Lee. So not a star-packed edition, but I do like the backs of the cards, kind of the ticket look, the little holographic team logo in the corner. Nice action shot along with the headshot. Minimal stats. I think by this time they realized players or people weren't really collecting the cards for the stats on the back. And instead, it was all about the style. Beautiful cards. I still call it the Jake, Jacob's Field. All right. That has been uh, another episode of Junk Wax Genius. Come back tomorrow for two more packs from the Junk Wax era. Please do like and subscribe if this is your jam. We'll have two more packs the day after that and the day after that and the day after that. And the day after that, and the day after that, and the day.